overwhelmed these the days, so maybe that the you know, might calm you down a bit. <laughs> but if not, 2020 definitely has a lot of us burnt out and leaving some people feeling like they lost control of their lives. It happens. Absolutely. But there are some ways to put you back in that driver's seat for yourself and for your family. Dr. Wayne Purnell is a psychologist, renowned TEDx speaker, author, business leadership coach, and he's joining us live this morning to talk about how we can put things back on the right track. Good morning. Good morning. We feel like we've lost so much and yet, you know what, we have more control than we thought. Oh my gosh, I feel like I go through, it's a roller coaster right now, right? Mm -hmm. I have days that are normal and I'm good and everything's fine. And then the next day is just a pandemic day. And it's, you just, you feel like it's just, you know, never going to be the same again. So, well, first off, I guess, do you think that us feeling like this, this roller coaster, is that kind of our new normal? Is that what everyone's going through? You know, I, I, am worried about the word new normal, the phrase. It's like, is this the new normal? Is that the new normal? Really, the new normal is what happens every single day. And, uh, you know, you called it a roller coaster. I call it the COVID coaster. Yeah. That is that is normal right now because we've been told, oh, it's lightening up. Nope, just kidding. Oh, yeah. stay in place. Oh, just kidding. Google just said that their remote workers are going to be staying at home through uh, the next year, right into the summer of 2021. Oh my gosh! So, right, we're we're seeing things shift daily, and so the biggest thing that we can remember is that we are resilient. We've each been through hard times before, and the hardest part about this is that we're trying to get through hard times every single day. Uh, just remember, you've done it. You've done it. This is this is something you've been through, except it's not like none of us have been through a pandemic, but we've been through uncertainty. So now it's time to just realize you've got courage, you've got resilience, right? And the other thing, if I can just say, we've got things that we're actually finding we like. Yeah. <laughs> my, commute, my commute has shortened to about 30 seconds, right? <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there are things in our world that we've actually found out that we like and the the trick to gaining control over your life is to do more of that to truly do more of that focus on those things we like here mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah something i'm working on is is just trying to be more present just because i'm typically running around all the time yeah. um, but now i'm sitting still i'm like i gotta think about this a little bit more but what are some tips that you have um, for those who are experiencing these feelings of maybe frustration and being overwhelmed or maybe decision making fatigue i have decision fatigue for sure Decision fatigue is a big deal, right? We used to have very distinct roles and you, you two are in the studio, you're social distancing and you're in the studio. For many people, we would get up, we would go to work, we would have a role at work, we'd have a role when we got up, we'd do our exercise routine, whatever, go off, be in a different role, come home, be in the parenting role, the partner role, go out in the community distinct roles. Now what's happening is everything is combined and that's what's creating this sense of burnout is do I work? Do I attend to the house? Do I eat? Do I? Mm -hmm. right? so, so really it's about putting a little bit more structure back in your day, understand the things that you like to do, focus on those, give yourself the opportunity to, um, to, to really uh, create time during your day and during your week for those things. Like we are working now 11 to 14 hours a day online. Yeah. Give yourself structured time for a break, refocus, get outside, smell the fresh air. Yeah. I think that little schedule, that scheduling is, is so important. Just that little bit of pre-planning, you know, can be so helpful to, to really kind of setting those roles within your day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we mentioned riding the COVID coaster with things being open, now they're closed, now they're open, now they're closed. With all of those things changing around us that we don't have control over, what are some of the other ways that people can try to get some control back in their lives? What variables can we focus on? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is to, is to get perspective, right? No one woke up and said, uh, uh, let's mess with your life today. No <laughs> one's doing that, right? It's like, it's like this is a pandemic, which means it's around the world. It's not a political thing. It's not the United States. It's not, right? It's, it's just not. It is a pandemic that we're all trying to understand. 
And so everybody's a little on edge because everybody feels like we've had something taken away. Really recognize what freedoms you do have still, right? We do have the freedom to go to dining out, for example, if we eat outdoors, if we do the mask thing, if we social distance. So there are new rules. And so recognize there are new rules, but we still have a lot of freedom. And that's the biggest thing is keep your perspective. It's not being done to you. We are all figuring this out. And to recognize that you have more freedom than, than you thought and to really focus on that. What is in your control during the day? Yeah. What do you choose to do, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good thing to keep in focus. I, I feel like my week is off to a better start already. Dr. I'm, P, we, I'm feeling calmer myself. Right? We're feeling good. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good so one. So great to be here. Thank you. Absolutely.